All right, guys, spring is officially here, and it is time to start making this yard look nice again. As you can see, all of this is, like, overgrown and dead and gross-looking. We've still got a ton of leaves from the fall that, uh, you know, we're surrounded by trees here, so there's obviously going to be a lot of leaves. But all of the mulch here needs replaced. All of this stuff here needs cleaned up and dug out. New mulch. The bushes over here need trimmed up. Same thing with this one over here. These I want to trim down. You can see we have little white flowers coming out on this tree here already. I've still got my Christmas lights up on the house here. Those need to come down. Every plant in this area over here is getting ripped out. Except for this one right here, which I'm still going to trim that down. Same thing over here. I think I'm going to rip out this bush here and that bush here and just leave the big ones. We'll trim that up, put some new mulch in there. New mulch over here. And I want to extend the mulch along the whole side of this walkway here. I just think that would be different and it would look nice. Probably even get some pathway lights for right there. All this ivy right here I think is going to stay the same right now. I had talked to the neighbor about us getting in here and ripping all this out and exposing these big boulders along here. I think that would look nice, but I really don't have the time to do that right now. I do want to dig out all of this stuff here and then put just that black mulch down there. I definitely need to put some kind of a brick walkway going up to the hose there because this gets really muddy in here. Definitely need to clean up this area back here by the air conditioner and power wash this fence. May even bring a walkway along the side of the house here right over to that breaker box. And then finally need to get around to this backyard here. This looks like crap. We have this blue uh, tarp down here because we had all that poison ivy and stuff here that we were trying to kill So that's actually been down there for two seasons already through the winter So that should have killed anything that's been growing there. We got this big pile of uh, Branches and stuff here. We need to get rid of just a lot of cleanup back here that needs done and maybe put some kind of lattice or something along the uh, the edge of the deck there and now that the winter is pretty much gone. I want to go ahead and pull those curtains back. I mean, being up in the hot tub there when it's winter and snowing and the wind is blowing and it's really cold, that is really great, but it's pretty unsightly from out here, so my neighbors have to look at that, and that kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, even from down here, this looks like a big mess. This all needs cleaned up and just looking a lot better than it does right now. I still have these two crappy pallets from when they delivered all the stuff for the gazebo. And if you remember me talking about that last year, we still have these two boxes here, which are extra boxes they delivered that have parts to another gazebo in it. So I want to get those opened up and see exactly what are in those and see if it's anything that I could use Maybe whenever I'm doing whatever I'm going to do back there, right off the deck, you know, around that tree. Ugh, yeah. That pile of dirt from when I dug out the driveway here. We got this pile of beams here that I actually used before as part of the driveway, but I pulled all those up. Man, a lot of work needs done out here, and I don't want to go spending thousands of dollars to do it, but it definitely needs some attention. That needs power washed right there. And if you watched the videos from when we moved into this house, you remember this little piece of fence here? And there originally was another piece going across here, which I might replace, just build it in a way where it can be taken out when we're ready to get the RV out. Right now it's back there beside the, uh, the little shed there. But I think if I put the holes back in here and I could put that in there temporarily, be able to take it out, whenever I needed to get the RV out. I think that would look much better as far as like curb appeal. And these trash cans here, I don't know, I might put in some kind of a platform back here or something that we can put them behind that fence. I have already been online shopping for stuff to do this. We got 75 bags of black mulch right there that was delivered yesterday. And we've been discussing what kind of plants to have around the yard. And I think rather than having any plants in the mulch, um, itself. I think what we're going to do is we have all of these shepherd's hooks, like this one right here. It's, uh, you put that in the ground and you just hang a plant from it. I think we have about six of those. I could get probably six or ten more of those and just put those along the, uh, the yard in different areas 
with plants on them. That way we'd have some color in the yard and it wouldn't be stuff that's actually planted in the ground. I think that would be much easier to maintain than any kind of plants because I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to the yard, but I do want it to look nice because all my neighbors are always out all summer long tending to their yards.